Because it's the company policy. Because it's a what, sorry? You know what? You filming is dark side because he's not filming here. Why is that? I don't know. But you don't know exactly. So you hey to my lovely wonderful viewers welcome back to another upload so as you can see here i have come to a place called Salmsbury hall now i haven't been here in quite some time a good few years or so and a lot has changed from the, my last visit as you can see from that map there it is a big big area um, with lots to offer there are the rules dogs are welcome so yeah we're going to have a look around here like I said a lot has changed there's a lot of things been taken out and also a lot of things that have been added also now these are sleeping huts that people can hire. They're ideal if you want to come and spend the weekend here, do a bit of maybe ghost hunting or if you've got an event to come to. We're going to find out a little bit more information soon on these. But yeah, like I said, they're so cute and like cosy to... You can't see much in that window there apart from my reflection. So we're going to have a walk outside here and have a peep through this window here and yeah as you can see there's a big massive double bed there with a toilet so yeah just basically nice and cozy and adorable to sleep in now years ago when i came here there were only them three and check out all of these they have expanded loads on this ground check out this little cute small one yeah i'd definitely sleep in that one there how sweet is that so yeah there is so much more on these grounds it goes on for miles as you can see here they've extended it loads since the last time i was here <laughs> Birdie, this one's uh, been knocked over and that one's getting peed on. What a shame. <laughs> and as you can see here, there is a nice little playground for the kiddie winkles. Cute little climbing frames, slide and a playhouse that is matching the main building. So as we walk up to this building here, this is no longer what it used to be. This place used to store loads of bees and used to make home of making wax and honey and all that good stuff. And it used to sell different things on bees and honey and all that good stuff. But now it looks like it is just a cafe. Obviously, plenty of parking spaces for anybody who's going to be visiting here. At the side of this over there is a golf range too. I don't look around there, but I believe that is new as well. There's a big, quite a large golf range. So this plot of land here used to be home of various wildlife, such as hens and whatnot. But it seems they've all vanished and it is being you know, turned into something else for future projects. So in here is a fine little small cafe slash restaurant where they use all homegrown stuff, as you can see here. Like I say, it has been a while since I've been here, but last time I came here, they had lots of different things on display um, of things they sold. There's a nice little um, shop that sold different knickknacks and stuff. Obviously, this cafe, it looks new um, from the last time I came. Dottie's Waffles. So I need to pay a visit again here one day to go and see what it's like compared to the last time I was here. But I'm going to head into the reception here and inquire a little further about them huts. Was he just having a good look at the fountain there? Come here. 
<laughs> is it coming? Is it coming? Hello, I just rang bell. I didn't know if I could come in or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd just like to come and inquire about uh, the huts and like how you go about them and the pricing and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want some information? Yeah, yeah, please, if you've got some. Go, you, come here, you. Come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> here we go. There's a little leaflet. Oh, brilliant. There. It shows you some pictures of them. We do accept dogs. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, That's it's nice. £10 extra for the dog. Oh, right, okay. If you want to go and have a look around them. Yeah. Do you know where they are? Yeah, yeah, I've just had a look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've been before, but yeah, they, they, you've expanded, haven't you? There's a lot more than what there was. So they start from, it depends, when, you, when are you looking to come in? I'm just inquiring in at the minute, to be honest with you. But I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to sort of maybe come in and stay the night here for... A while yeah. now, well, so... Well, at the moment, they're on at a good price in the week, 69. Oh, right. OK, 69 a, a night hut. for a per person, is yeah, that? And yeah, and you come from Sunday not to Thursday. Person. No, not Just a night. For the hut. Oh, right, OK, so then. there's two of you, it's right. £69, pounds, yeah. OK, do you uh, pick for us, or can we pick which, we, which one? We normally allocate them for you, but if there is a particular one that you want, you can request right. it, but we can't guarantee Are they all the same size, or are they... Yeah. Yeah, they're all pretty much pretty basic. Yeah. And most, and the majority of them are double bed and double bed. Right. So okay. if you wanted to bring the dog, you can. You just pay us extra ten pounds. Right. So okay. Your own dog blankets. Right. Perfect. So, Brilliant. Okay. Um. Just one other thing. The animals that where the animals were, where have they disappeared? They've to? gone. They've gone. You're not doing that yeah, anymore. Yeah. the pig died. Oh. And then we had hens, but they've gone to a farm. Oh. So, so they uh, moved yeah. on then. So yeah. the no, no more animals in the future. No. No. no we, oh. We've redeveloped the land that they were on, and the place where the bees were. That's now the cafe. Yeah, I've just had a seen that as well. It used to be a bee yeah. making place, didn't it? So. Yeah. So all the, all but, of the uh, are gone. Right. What's What's going to be on that pla pla land in future? We well, we don't know. We're we just getting the new gardening team right. together. Yeah. So we don't know what to do with it yet. Yeah. Oh, never mind. That. But I came to see animals as well but never mind oh, all right sorry. then no, you, can go, you can go in the hall uh, it walk around it can i take him in can you take the dog in the hall I'm, oh, no everywhere else but but, but, oh, no well, worries then that's all right yeah. and i'll just walk around the outside yeah. thank you very much right. thank, you. thank you appreciate it the there and oh brilliant too. thank you thank you, thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye. So I will go ahead and put the link to the website of Salmsby Hall down in the description if any of you are interested in booking yourselves one of them cosy little huts to come and stay in in the future. So here we've come to the main part of the building, the main hall where all the weddings and conferences and events happen. I'm going to show you some facts on the building here. For all you historic lovers and fact lovers here. So yeah, inside here is a magnificent grand piano, a fireplace, all good, lovely, historic stuff to view inside this building with some... Maybe, possibly, some spooky goings on as well. Going to show you a little bit of a sneaky, sneaky look into here of what you can see if you was to come here and have a look around this building. Some old photographs there. So yeah, as you can see, they're going through a lot of work on this building for future projects. Stay, stay, stay. You're not being a chicken, are you? You're not being a chicken, eh? Nothing gonna s jump out of your shout boo! So Sonsby Hall is on Preston New Road, right between Blackburn and Preston. Now along this road here, many have said that whilst they're driving along here, 
you can see the spooky white lady. Now, I've I've come up and down this road so many times, driven past it, been past on the bus and whatnot. Personally, I've never seen her, uh, but yet some have. So why don't you have a visit to Sonsby Hall and see if you can see anything spooky at this place. So Sonsby Hall has two entrances. This one here, which if you want to go to the golf range and that first cafe I showed you, this would be the entrance you come in. And then the one further down there where that car is poking out there is the second entrance to the main Salisbury Hall Great Hall. So now as I make my way up here, I'm... I've been curious about this place for quite a while now because um, it's relevantly brand new. I mean, even if you look on Google Maps, this bit here is still in the process of being built and there's not really much information on it. Many people have been to this locations. Um, however, they've been around the front of the building, whereas this is around the back of the BA Air Force space. And yeah, like I say, on the Google Maps, all this road here is brand new and this building here is brand new. So I just, I was curious and I thought I'd go and take a look at it. As you can clearly see there, they have a reception desk. So it is publicly accessible. The public can freely walk on here and go into this building, into the reception if they so wish. As you can see, they're planting lots of new trees around. I'm always curious as to what these are. Are they, you know, like... Sew, old sewers or something you know like when they dig new places up and they come across old sewer wells nice architecture architecture going on here let's have a sneaky sneaky look into the building here and obviously the first thing that stands out oh there's the security for the number for the security and the first thing that stands out to me there inside the building is the big flat screen TV. I've always got big, massive, fancy flat screen TVs in these places. Looks like it's advertising some sort of training that may happen on this location. What this building is about. A little bit of information there. Oh, it... Looks like we've drawn some t attention here. Hello, you all right? Yeah, I'm good, yeah. I'm just having a look around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a new new site, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. How long's it been here now? Huh? How long's it been here now? Oh, me or you this site? It's not, not been there long, has it? No, it's not ready, maybe. Pardon? Two, three, two, three months is there. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. So what goes on here? What happens here? I don't know, still is the working, is the, I don't know, still is the open. Uh, but it's the Sheffield University, is the campus here, research center, I think. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. But no allowed to film it. Yeah, 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 it's allowed, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Because it's the company policy. It's a what, you sorry? You filming is that side because it's not filming here. Why is that? I don't know. But you don't know exactly. So you can't no, really say no, you're not allowed if you don't know. <laughs> New site? That side, but you may so I'm alright to film that side but not this side? Yeah. Because so then know. what if I stand over there and zoom into here? <laughs> Does it make sense? No, no, I have a reason why you're doing it, that's why... What? 
Are you, you and I've just told you it's a new site, so I've come to film a new site. <laughs> okay, filming is that okay. Yeah? No, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all right, it's okay. I'm, okay. You know, it's allowed, have it's allowed. Have a, have a nice, yeah, have a nice weekend. Eh? You too, yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Come on, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I did not understand and catch a word of that. All I caught though was you're allowed to film in that direction but not in this direction, which like does not make any sense to me whatsoever. I mean, that's just silly. But it was okay. It wasn't persistent. It didn't panic. It didn't phone the police. So I'll give him his dues. It wasn't too bad. It was just a little bit clueless really. So, as you can see here, look at these smart, I guess, electric chargers or something for the cars. The new uh, electric chargers, a full line of them. So, I guess people that are going to be coming to uh, this building are going to have nice, fancy, expensive electric cars, I guess. And then they head up to these barriers here. And these barriers, this road here... Seems to lead to nowhere. They're obviously open and I can clearly walk down it. Um, but at the minute, there's not really much there. Um, so I choose just to walk back up this way anyway. Um, I, obviously, I think in the future, there's going to be new stuff built down there. But as far as it goes, there's no there. Have a quick peep in here and I can't really see much. So, yeah, it's not... Wasn't really that interesting, really. There wasn't really much to see. So I made my way back, like I said, down here. And as you can see right in front of me, the guy that has just come out and approached me there is obviously gone back inside, put his coat on, and he feels the need that he has to come out and keep an eye on me. So he obviously finds me... Very suspicious because um, it doesn't leave me alone until I fully leave the site. I thought it was going to approach me again there, but it doesn't. So I just keep making my way off the site. Nice, lovely picture of Ozzy there. Loves having his picture taken. Yep, decides to lie down for me. <laughs> Come on, Ozzy, let's move on. See, as you can see there, that guy is still there. I keep filming at this point here, you know, because when you do things like this, it's always good to film before you approach the place and when you leave the place, because if anything does happen, like if he... If I stop recording now and something more happens, he comes and approaches me again. Um, I've obviously still carried on filming to see if anything more happens. Um, but yeah, he obviously sees that I'm leaving here, so it goes back inside. So right over there is the BAE Systems Air Force Field and like I said there has been a numerous of people that have visited this location such as Charlie, Matt, UK Meet the Tyrants and a few others I believe but like I say they have been round the front and not round the back here and as I walk along here you can see how much dead land there is like i can imagine within the next i don't know a couple of years what on earth is going to be built at these locations what sort of businesses and corporations are going to be built on these fields here because at the minute it's just completely derelict there's nothing going on not really much to see but yeah i continue to make my way along this long long road here it is wet, cold and miserable and very, very windy. But yeah, I just keep making my way down here just to basically go and see what there is. 
So here I am stood behind that training building and then barriers there that I was stood at. This is where they lead. So I don't quite understand the meaning of these barriers when this road just leads to basically this one right here and you can just walk round and walk to that. So basically I could have just walked down there if I had wanted to. So I've made it to this site here and again it just looks like one big building site with not really much happening. <laughs> Can't see many people at work. This is like a Friday afternoon at this point so yeah. I can't see anyone working. So I continue on my way and make my way down here to this business here, which is called Win Canton Place. But straight away, this sign here draws my attention. And obviously, as you can see, it says private property, no un unauthorized access. So obviously, I'm not going to make my way down here. There is somebody sat in that van there. So even though it says no un unauthorised access, it still says staff and visitor car park there. So I found this Google comment here. So you need to book and have an escort on this site. Now let's go down past there, are Now let's go. Hey. Now let's go past that way, goodbye. Come okay, on then, walk back this way. Hey, no, why do you want to go in there? Hey, <laughs> come on, come on. Nothing down there. It's in there. I did it. I didn't do it, I did. I can't see anyone working. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon and I can't see anyone. Go on. Pretty cool looking machines though. Pretty awesome. is dead <laughs> I guess uh, these guys have Friday afternoon off I'm guessing unless they're all in a business meeting or something oh one worker there one worker there and he's on and he's lost him unless this place isn't officially open yet because like I said this is a brand new site <laughs> so Let's, uh, yeah. So many machines, but no workers. Come on. up there Ooh, look at in here guys whoa this is crazy that's so cool And there's workers there, I don't work. Oh, look at that. Where's 
working on something big there. That's so cool. Academy for skills and knowledge. So these must be students working on something here, training up. Isn't it cool, Ozzy? What are they doing in there? <laughs> what are they doing? Can you see? Can you see? Yeah. What are they doing? That's so cool. <laughs> you like it, don't you? Can you see that, Ozzy? I do that. It's gonna get a job here. It's gonna get a job here. Hey, it's gonna get a job here, Daddy. I'm not that cool. <laughs> orange claw machine there just made one big circle around this place big 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 building big building I'm gonna have a walk around here because there is no you know nothing saying I can't walk down here because I want to go and take a look at this building over here so if I can go where I'm possibly allowed to go then I will go but apart from that um, I'll be staying on public property so I would have liked to have taken a closer look at that building there but as you can see this fence runs all the way around this land here so there's not really any way of getting a closer look at it to be honest with you and then up here is some basically guard guards <laughs> on stand to stop people from travelling down that road so whoever works in that building down there obviously has to travel through there so this is the closest I can get to them buildings there I get some funny looks thrown my way whilst I'm walking around here however I'm not walking anywhere where I'm illegally not allowed to to do so I'm still on this property here where I had all access to it didn't step over anything or climb over anything so yeah I make my way here and this is where this road runs down to that building there and there is no way I'm crossing this threshold here highly secured highly guarded so I just go and take a quick look at the signs here that are posted up Lots of rules and conduct on this property, of course. So here I come to these crossroads here and there is yet again another business opposite to where I would just stood there so I have a quick walk up to this one and basically I come to a stop here to take a picture of that tractor but whilst I take a picture of that tractor there can you see that sign right there in front of me and what that says and whilst I'm doing this, the guard that is in that guard shack there is obviously in communication there with the person opposite 
in the other business across from him because he obviously, again, keeps an eye on me, but is on the phone with his colleague. And I think they're back and forth saying, you know, leave her alone, keep an eye on it, but do not approach. So yet again, same signs there that was on the other side. But yeah, all well and good. No approach, nobody come out and told me I wasn't allowed to be there. As you can see, I don't cross anywhere that I'm not supposed to be. Um, they observe me, they keep in communications with each other from the place right down there. And obviously, I'm left to go about my business, which is the way that it should be. So yeah, that's where I was stood there. And they're in communication with that place right there. But yeah, what an awesome day. I was just curious of what was on this location. And from what I could see, not very much in all fairness. It was very quiet. Nobody was there. Nobody was at work. Um, So yeah, it was a little bit um deflating really, not really seeing anything. So as I bring this to an end here um, and I start making my way back along this very, very, very long, long road, I start thinking to myself, um, everybody go and subscribe to DJ Audits. Now, go and leave him a message and tell him that if he's ever up this way, he should come and check out this place because I think DJ Audits would have a field day here. He would really enjoy coming, investigating this place and seeing if he can see anything more than what I did and investigating it just that little bit more. So, yeah, I think this is something where, where he probably really enjoy coming to visit. So, as always, guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until the next upload, bye.